I've already bricked for pics here today, back in a video. And this is going to be a review of set number 75157. This um, is called Captain Rex's ATTE. Um, this set came out in 2016. Um, you can see there by the colour run on the package. This is a set I got for my birthday and was one of the set that I've wanted for a long time. I did actually manage to get this set brand new, so thank you for, thank you for my dad for that. Um, but yeah. So let's start off with the figures and then I'll move on to the main set and then I'll do the box instructions and something else I don't want to mention about the set. So we'll start off with the most uh, normal figures, then we'll go on to the cooler ones. So here we have the Stormtrooper here. This is the normal design for Rebels. Um, it's nothing you haven't seen before. Um, he's got this really weird looking bucket hat design on his head. And on the torso he's just got the normal clone trooper head. The body is pretty cool. It's definitely the best printed bit of the set in my opinion and the legs are normal you, you pretty much see that they've just got a line and a little triangle there um but yeah now we're moving on to the inquisitor so this inquisitor is called the um the fifth brother um this one here bit of a spoiler warning um you've got oh sorry you've got your spoiler warning um this guy he gets killed by darth maul um, so yeah, I really like the way that they've used that lightsaber hilt. I think it's quite a rare figure and quite a rare lightsaber hilt. There's lots of exclusive pieces in this set, including this hat piece here. Um, this figure is supposed to be a lot bigger than normal figures, so I think it should have really been a lot bigger. But on one side he's got more of a scarred face here, and then on the other one he's got more of like a straightish face. Um, but yeah, lovely piece of, um, work, uh... They did it quite well, draw moulding that head with the colours. Um, also, he has this nice little chest piece. You can also hook the lightsaber up to there. Um, let me just, there you go. Look, you can hook the lightsaber up to there. Um, he also has um, so this hat thing here. It has a bit of grey printing. I'm pretty sure all the Inquisitors use this. Um, but now I'm going to show you the torso printing on this dude. So the tossing printer on this dude is pretty cool. I really like how that buckle goes onto the legs printing and the sides. Um, he's got a little bit of cape, which I would prefer if they went all around or gave us a cloth piece for. Um, on the back, he has some lines there that really match up with the um, the big body piece that we have. So the 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 neck the neck does stick out of the hat, but that's all good because it's covered up by that head the body piece as well. Um, some little red thing which is pretty cool they added that in because that's all getting covered up oh but yeah that's all for this figure so let's move on to the captain rex so well, here is the man himself this is captain rex um his headpiece i suppose it's a bit lighter than what he really is but that's what they worked with in 2016 um it's a really nice um headpiece has got a bit of a beard there it would be better if they kind of make the line sharper because it does actually fade in a lot more than I would like it to. You can definitely see the similarities between that head and that head there with the eyebrows and the kind of like the eyes and the side of the face and stuff. Um, he's also got this nice little growl there. He doesn't have a side head as he is bold. I would be, I would kind of like it if they gave him like a hat piece, like a, like a hat that went on his head a bit like Darth Maul. Give him a little bit of hair. Um, on the body you have the rebel, um, um, uh, the rebel version of the clone troopers torso um it's not the best but it is for rebels it's animated differently there's no side arm printing um on the back it's pretty much the same as the stormtrooper just with a bit more rust and a bit more oldness as you can see which they are um i don't really like how it's black here i kind i know that kind of means he's, he's taken off most of his armor as uh, usually there's a white bit there um on the legs it they, it's quite annoying because all of the clone troopers just have plain legs and i really wish they did some printing there and but yet yeah, let's move on to um the, the the next clone trooper that has armor on so the next trooper that has armor on is captain um what's his name again captain oh captain wolf sorry i forgot for a second um his headpiece is pretty much the same in the way that it has um, that white beard. He has grey um, eyebrows this time. Once again, there is a similarity between the normal clone trooper head. He does have an eye, which reminds me a bit of um, Crosshair, the way that he's got that little um, scar in between, and a record at the same time. Um, but yeah, he's got the same beard as Rex, um, as you would. Um, his eye, I don't know what happened to it. I think it got scratched out. 
hence the wolf pack. Um, but he has this kind of greyish armor. It's a lot more dinged up. I know in the normal thing, I think he had a helmet. Or oh, something else I forgot to mention. Why did he not put helmets in this set, Lego? Oh my god, I would love if they had helmets, but... Yeah. Um, the arm printing are just plain black. Um, on the back, you kind of have, like, the grey that looks a bit, like, furish. Um, and yeah, like the record, he's not using... He's not really having the rest of that armour on. Um, but yeah, this guy definitely had a lot more painting on his armour. I don't really know what happened to it, because it got scratched off. But he also just has plain legs. Um, quite disappointed about that one. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the clone troop that has a lot less, um, a lot less, uh, outfits. This is Gregor. I really wish we see Gregor and how Caps and Rex and they meet in the Bad Batch itself. But we can't, um, uh, well we might, but I don't really know yet. Um, but here, he has the same, you can definitely see how it resembles the clone trooper head the most here. With the eyebrows being the same and the eyes and pretty much everything looks exactly the same here. Um, you can definitely tell it's a lot older though. On his body, he has some type of symbol. I don't know what that is. I think it's like, I don't really know. Um, on the belt, he does have a utility belt there, which is pretty cool. Just normal coloured arms and some gloves. Um, on the back. So this set here, we don't exactly know the backstory of the set, how Captain Rex got it. But he did customise it quite a lot to suit his liking. With the 501st symbol there. Um, so I'm going to start off with the outside of the set, then go into the inside, show the interior, then kind of wrap it up and move on to the box. Um, but they kind of, the way they've made this, it's kind of tiled, the way how they've put slopes on. And this is all kind of connected, little using some little um, Technic, using that, lots of those pieces there. I don't exactly know what they're called. Um, but on the side, um, they have these big, big tanks, or turrets on the top here. Um, they're pretty cool. You also have some torches because it is a, has been changed into a home. They've also put a lot more secure um, barriers on it and a little crystal light down there. Um, on the top, there is a tank or a shooting thing. You can just put a figure in there. Let me just get a figure to show you guys. Um, you can just... Oh. Ah, well, I'll show you that in a second. Um, but there's also a, um, a little cover on it there and... There you go. <laughs> there it is. You can launch a figure. You can see it in there, making him look like that. There is a stud shooter and a bit of an aim, I think. I'm not going to shoot that because I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it before. And yeah, you can bend that like that. Um, behind it, there's this little um, handle, which is really useful because you can lift that up, as you can see there. You can spin it around. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, on the back, there's a little chimney. Some little holders that can hold some stuff. And these are actually connected to my next video. There's just going to be a mock to go next to this. A little clue for you. On the top, there's some more sticker details. And you can also allow the phantom or the ghost. No, not the ghost. The phantom, I'm pretty sure it's called. Right here. There is this little um, one finger. Some more chimneys and some ladders. Um, the legs are connected using these little axle pieces here. Um, there's six of the legs. They're quite easy to build. The side ones stick out a lot more than the other ones. They just stick out from the bottom. Um, there's also these little things here, which are, I think are for watches out. Um, but on the back, as you go on to the back, let me just lift it up. There's a door. Um, one of these legs is a bit, I suppose it brought knocked off, so they replaced it. It's either wood or really rusted metal. I'm not too sure. Um, but there's some more, um, what do you call these, railings on the front with some lights. On the back, there is this little door. And that opens up, leading into, like, the control room. Um, but on the other side, it's pretty much the same. There is a different detail there saying something which is very moulded off. I'm not sure what that says. Um, and also, I forgot to mention, on top of there, there's also some little panel detail there. Um, but, yeah, let's start off with the back. So on the back, when you lift this up, the inside, it comes off quite easily. And in there, there is some type of... Um, Ah, oh, there is a different figure in there. I'm sorry, a little blooper for you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, when you lift it up, there is some railings for some weapons that you can put there. And another reference for my new, um, for my next video, which is a kind of a mock to go with this there. Um, there's a little teapot, some more railings. I guess it's kind of like a storage room, control room. Um, but yeah, um, as you come... 
so up here you ob obviously have that again um if you open that up this does reveal a secret compartment again um where you can kind of store some weapons um you can store some weapons nice little thing there you can store some bombs so you can shoot out um but that just sticks in there like that so it's kind of a cool little play um picture and on the front there's a way that you can get into that one I'll show that. so on the front like i said you can open this cockpit up using that hinge piece here on the side there is some sticker details and when you open that up using this little grate piece um it's kind of like a sliding action there is this little thing here you can only fit one figure inside but you pull that out um there is a little um, chair on the top it would be better if you kind of made a custom chair there's a little control panel a nice little simple build you can stick stick a figure in there um put them in there that you can kind of see that thing from in between there where we put the bombs in and yeah you stick that in there oh let me see i'm trying to get it into these little tracks oh my god the minute i start recording it doesn't work i do take the figure off but yeah you take the figure off you stick it in here there you go it works now Oh uh, yeah, you stick it in there, and usually you have that little handle there. Um, but when you lift it up, you should be able to see your figure in there. Um, but yeah, overall, a really, really nice set for the price range. I think when it came out, it was about ninety-three pound on the aftermath on the market. Now you could probably get it for about two hundred to one hundred and fifty. Wasn't quite sure. Um, but now let's move on to the instruction booklet because you can see what sets we have. There. So here's the instruction manual itself. You can see there. Um, Kylo Ren on the front. Um, only thing I really wanted to show you was the back of the set. Um, the set to the back. This is the set that we have down there. Um, definitely some of the cooler ones are definitely this one here. Um, set number 75151. I might put that on my wanted list. Also here we have a video game catalogue coming out in 2016. Proof to you. How... Oh, you also got this little thing here that says win. If anyone has this, you should definitely use these. Um, but yeah, I think there's about how many steps here in the set. There is, um, oh, here we go, another advertisement for Force, um, Mastery Force. Not gonna lie, this game was very, very disappointing, in my opinion. When I first opened it up, it was a lot more bad than I thought it would be. Here you have some of the figures. You have the ones that we had down there. And um, also you have, oh, this is a very cool figure. I don't exactly know what she is. She looks like some kind of Sif. Um, but yep. Yeah, very nice instruction booklet. Something else that I want to mention is, when I first unboxed this, I thought it was fake Lego, as they kind of have the same decoration as the bags. But I read the seal, and this is all Lego official, and all the pieces are Lego. So yeah, a very little... <laughs> I got kind of sketched out for a second there. But yeah, these are the bags. Look quite weird in my opinion. I don't, I've never seen a bag with have all these little words on them. And but yeah, now let's move on to the box. Okay, for the box, it's about the size of the set so you're not really getting anyone thinking that it, it's about that size you have the lego rebels down there um you have some lovely little back art of some a80 shooting at it um on the side you have all the figures there and some size contortions um on the back you have a nice little detailed animation of some figures and you have another um advertisement for this bad game <laughs> You have the handles, you have some plate features so you can lift that up there. You can put a figure in there, um, how you can lift up the cranes, and how you can put that there, and how you can put that. That's pretty much everything I just said in the review. Um, on the side, there's nothing much. Another little picture with another little handle, which I don't really do anymore. Um, I never actually use them anyway, because that's wasting the box. Um, but on the back, you have the old little yoga logo here that says the Lego Club. Um, but yeah not much else in this set to say thank you all for watching um hope you all enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and pretty much click all the buttons down there and also see you all later bye bye guys Brexit's out peace